Sheesh. Y'all still there? All right. Sheesh, man. It's been a minute, man. Two months. Two months too long, man. We I ain't gonna keep doing y'all like that. But yeah, man, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy Retro Real. And we back. With more heat, more content, as always. Man. If you know, if you watched the last uh reel I dropped, me and the wife got married. We both got new vehicles. I ain't say nothing about that in the reel, but we both got new vehicles. There's a lot been going on, man. But the truck gone. It ain't gone, gone, but it's at the shop. Trans get put in. Just, just a lot been going on, man. I ain't been able to keep up with YouTube and posting content. But if you follow my Instagram, I post a lot on my story. Go ahead, uh, follow me on Instagram, retro underscore real with two O's. Keep up with, with daily posts, man. If I drop anything, I usually post, post it on my Instagram. So, yeah, man. If it ain't on here, it's on Instagram. But, uh, yeah, man. We'll drop this video for y'all. It's been too long. I feel like y'all need to see this. So, this video basically, I paint the lift. I'm gonna uh, start it off with my last lift I had on the Ryan Body Tahoe. And uh, that was like baby, baby blue. The cross member was baby blue. And the real cross member. So, uh, yeah, man. I didn't really show then what I did it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this video and it's gonna show me doing everything the from the sanding the prepping everything so yeah man enjoy this video man like comment share subscribe do what y'all do and share it man we back and it's ready to get better Alright, so I just finished sanding it down. And usually after I finish sanding stuff down, I wipe it off just to see how good I got everything. Hot, cold water, don't matter. Just getting all the uh, the paint off. Sanding it down enough. Well more what I could with my little drill that I got. It died on me. But you can see look. That's what it looked like. And that's this is what it after I wiped it. This is before I wiped it. So now it ain't rough. You can see it's bare metal on some part on some parts of it. Which is cool. That's what you want. You want it smooth. Well, I know I want mine smooth, so the paint come out looking good. I left the bottom side. The only time I got a problem with getting to is the inside, like literally in here. But on my last lift, 
you seen that? It looked like it was powder coated. It won't, but I talked to a couple painters. And it's all in the prepping, man. If you just paint it, it's gonna look like spray paint. But yeah. I think it's ready to be primed. All right, so the cross member and the, drop, the torsion bar brackets, I guess that's what they call it. They have been sanded and primed and in the process of drying. And it is a little cold out here today, so it's cool. I took the paint inside, so it stay warm. And I think this is my second layer of primer. And it look good, man. Like I said, this ain't nothing but the primer. The paint could get laid down after this. But yeah, man. Like I said, and I can't stress it enough, man. Take the time and prep everything. It's going to lay down better, the paint-wise. It's going to look better. The color you're looking for, you might get it even better than just spraying it over black or just whatever color you, you spraying. That primer, like sand it down so it can look smooth, clean, prime it. Prepping goes a long way. They're like like painters. They prep cars before they paint. They ain't just spraying over the color that you got on there already. So, same concept. Prep, prep, prep. So, like I said, it's a little process for me. Hopefully, this is good. Hopefully, it's like powder cook. So, if you, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Y'all gonna know what it is. I'm gonna tell everybody it's powder coat. But come to me, man. Come shop. I get you right. But yeah, now is at the part where I did the torsion bar drop brackets. I think that's what they call. I already sanded it down, primed it, and I actually put a little grooves in it with a wire wheel to add a little texture. And uh, yeah, now it's gonna be the base coat, which is chrome. So we're gonna start from there. Keep on going. red and silver let me know what y'all think man comment below if y'all think it's gonna look good comment below if you think it's gonna look trash comment man should i uh paint some more under the under the under the truck to color match it with the lift let me know what y'all think so yeah man we still on we ain't, I ain't forget about y'all but yeah man like i said like comment share subscribe to the channel run them old videos up and yeah Keep going with this build. 